All right, today I'm gonna to do a beta galact side A staining. This is the protocol here. You can pause, maybe read it, take a look. My awful handwriting. But basically the idea here is that we wanna use chloroform to bust open these cells and uh, stain them uh, if they are expressing the gene that we want, the, the beta galactosidase gene, then they'll cleave a chemical that we add to the cells called XGAL, and the cells will turn blue. If uh, they're not expressing the gene that we want, then the cells will stay white, or in this case, a little bit pink. So these are the cells here. This does say LSD. So those are the colonies there. They've grown two days. Um, you can use beta galactosidase staining for a lot of things. I'm not going to go into the details of, of this project. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, but basically, first, uh, I, I, this is going to be a speed run because I want to get this done. But uh, hopefully you can see through the fume hood. But we're working with chloroform, so we want to have our gloves and lab coat on and work in the hood. Here's the chloroform, the flammables cabinet. It's also toxic. Get out of here. I'll lift this up a bit. Maybe it helps you see better. Um, I'm also gonna need to figure out how to use the timer. I hate this thing. Yeah, all right, so we need to soak these cells for 15 minutes with chloroform. I'm gonna use this pipette here, if it's your first time, maybe just use a one mil pipette to more gently put it on. So, let's see. Minute, 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 minute. All right, 16 minutes. Give me some time to set up. Uh, these are supposed to be sterile, but they probably aren't. So, this is a good application. I don't know how well you're gonna see this. Uh, basically, we just wanna put the chloroform in each of the wells. We wanna put about one milliliter per well. Basically, we just wanna cover the cells. All right, and you know, the cells are delicate, so we don't wanna wash them off. Uh, these timers are gonna be the death of me. What do you want? Please stop, thank you. All right, it's 15 minutes. Um, the timer has started and we need to make our agro solution. So this is Z buffer. You can look it up on the Cold Spring Harbor website. They probably have it. We're only doing five wells, so we just need a tiny batch. So I'm gonna make a half batch, 25 mils of Z buffer. 150 milligrams of agro. So let's get that started. There it is. All right, I'm gonna rinse this out. We'll do 25 mils of this. Approximate, as always. And I wanna use, get one of these little buddies. I'll rinse them out. Abundance of caution. Here's the Z buffer going in. I'll rinse this out too. You can put it back. It's just salt and stuff, so nothing crazy. Uh, Z buffer has beta mercapta ethanol in it too. This Z buffer does not because we add the beta mercapta ethanol later. So now we need 150 milligrams of the agarose. Agarose, not agar. That's better. And 
microwave it for, let's make up a fun number, 29 seconds. Should be good. So this agro solution is gonna sit on top of our pellet, of our you know little colonies of cells. Uh, and it's gonna contain two chemicals, beta mercapta ethanol, which we need to grab. Two mercapta ethanol is the other name. It's abbreviated as BME. And the other chemical is gonna be Excal. Now Excal is a, it's a sugar, technically. Um, and we have to store it frozen or it'll break down. And it works in a weird solvent called NN dimethylformamide. So we'll be pulling that out of the cabinet in a second. Uh, but first, for this agro solution, I'll grab a stir bar, rinse it off, pop it in and put a little foil on top. All right. So again, this is a really small reaction because we're just doing five wells, but I'll put it on this hot plate because we want to keep this warm so that it doesn't set. This is a, you know, this is a pretty low percentage agro, so I think it's about half a percent. Um, and I'm also gonna turn the heat on. Let's keep it at a 94, sure. We just don't want it to set while we're getting things prepared. Um, so we have the BME, we have the agros, we need the Xgal solution, which is one milligram, I believe. Nope, <laughs> one milliliter of NN dimethylformamide, 50 milligrams of Xgal. Always have trouble finding this getting better. Here it is. NN dimethylformamide. This one is sequencing grade. I don't know how much that matters. Let's get the Xgal. 50 milligrams of Xgal. 5-0. Oh, there it is. 50 milligrams is small. So we want to keep this cold. It's like double walled glass, which is good for us. Got hot hands. This is 50 milligrams. Um, we need a tube to put this in. Let's go get a tube. Uh, Xcal also decomposes in light. So we're going to want to wrap this tube in foil. If you can't see anything, I can't see anything either. All right, one mil, gonna open the NN dimethylformamide. And, all right, we got eight minutes on the timer. Shouldn't have taken the Xcal out so early, but whatever. That cabinet always smells so good. We have uh, some terpenes in there like pinene and stuff. Smells really good. We want baby scooper. Baby, baby scooper. See, if I wasn't recording, I would have just done 52. All right, whatever, close enough. I don't know whose liquid that is, but that's not good. All right. Put that back quickly put this in the tube. Again, this decomposes with light and temperature. Now, all right, close enough. All right, the chloroform actually melts the plastic. The things will start sticking to the table and sticking to each other. It's kind of a pain. 
Uh, the way I like to do this, again, you wanna be pipetting things off very carefully. So I'm just gonna very carefully tip it. I'll start with this one. Draw up as much as that chloroform as possible. Okay, okay, okay. We'll start a new timer for 10 minutes. So if you're doing a lot of these plates, you can just go like this. Uh, you just don't want to suck up chloroform into the pipette gun because it'll ruin it. All right, that's it, that's easy. We'll leave this in the fume hood because it has chloroform on it. Um, this can go away. And I also like to prop, actually, it's fine. Sometimes the chloroform can pool on some of the colonies. Yeah, we'll prop it up. So I'm gonna prop it up a little bit just so that that pooling chloroform isn't on the cells. So we'll give that 10 minutes and then we'll add, um, or right before the 10 minutes is up, I'll add the BME and the DTT solution. And then we'll pipette it carefully onto the cells. Okay, so the timer is getting close to the end. Uh, I'm gonna add the Mercapta ethanol and the DTT, 67 and a half of the Mercapta ethanol. I'll take this lid off. Take the lid off, but I'll keep it mixing. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the flask that's mixing out of, probably out of frame. Uh, but it is mixing, and I'm just gonna add the DTT. Sorry, the BME. God, somebody's strong. Um, all right, 67 and a half of that. I'm gonna add it into, into the liquid and pipette up and down, just to rinse the pipette tip. That's the mercap to ethanol and the DTT, 175 microliters. I'll add that. And this DTT solution can store in the uh, minus 20 freezer for a week, maybe two weeks, but I'm not gonna be using it anytime soon, so I'm just gonna throw it away. I'll put the mercap to ethanol away. But the 15 minutes of chloroform is genuinely really important. Uh, if you do less than that, it won't work. Ask me how I know. All right. So we want to use about two milliliters of this per well. Really, you should be able to do it with one milliliter, but in my experience, just going all out and using two milliliters is uh, just safer. And you want to do this step very gently. You don't want to wash the cells around a bunch or your stains are going to look bad. You're going to have smears and stuff. So I'm adding pretty gently. Also, you know, I added the BME and the x -Gal while the solution was warm, not hot. That's another air, air bubble. That timer scared me. Okay, stop. Yeah, so, you know, this needs to be warm while it's adding on so it doesn't set, but when you add the chemical, you don't want it to be too hot. So it's like a warm or a, like a hot cup of coffee is sort of the max temperature you want it to be before you add the x -Gal and the BME. So I'm adding the agro solution and swirling it around. That's it. So this needs to be disposed of properly in biohazard stuff. I'm gonna let this cool. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to put away? These need to be put away. But you'll just incubate this. The original protocol, you're supposed to incubate 37 Celsius for 24 hours. But I found with certain staining conditions, the, the colonies will bleed into the agar and the stains won't look very good. So you can leave this at room temperature for 24 hours and it will stain fine. And you can store these plates in the fridge after they stain for months, really, and the stain gets a deeper blue if that's something that you need. Um, but hopefully this stain will work out and I can throw the image on the screen somewhere here.
Um, but it's also good to wrap this in saran wrap before you put it in the incubator or the fridge. The smell is not good. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's beta, beta galactoside staining. Not too bad. If you have questions or concerns or comments, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.